We're expecting him to have a career similar to John Elway or Peyton Manning. I actually look at the Jags and go, you know what? This is a more talented offensive roster than it's probably getting credit nationally. Marvin Jones is a guy, that wide receiver, that I played with that is a very reliable veteran prospect. So, okay, I got, a, I got a, a veteran wide receiver that I can count on. LaVisca Chenault in his second year out of Colorado, a big, powerful slot receiver that's really good. DJ Chark from LSU is like, come on and become a really good number two receiver in the NFL. So he's got skill position guys to get the ball to. Tight end Luke Farrell is a rookie out of Ohio State who's going to be solid in Travis Etienne. So I, I look at the team, I go – there's weapons. There's guys to get the ball to. Now, the offensive line is okay. And so, the big question for me, when if, if Trevor Lawrence can go be, at least as a rookie, as good as I expect him to be, is number one, how good the offensive line plays. That'll be a big part of this conversation. And then number two, Daryl Bevel, their offensive coordinator, how much he implements a super friendly quarterback system into it. I actually think that Trevor Lawrence is going to be better in totality than a lot of people think, specifically this year. I think Clemson's offense held him back scheme-wise and didn't allow for some of the freelance recess style of football that we see all the great quarterbacks have in the NFL. I think there's a chance for a lot of these guys to be good, but I'm taking Trevor Lawrence to be the best. I think uh, the answer is Trey Lance. And I, for all the same reasons that you just said, except there are no question marks around uh, Trey Lance. Like, you're hoping that Daryl Bevel installs an offense that works for Trevor Lawrence. You're also hoping that the offensive line gets better. And also, the defense is an important part of a, of a quarterback playing well. Like, we understand, and you can say as well as anyone, Dan, that playing quarterback in the NFL is incredibly dependent. No matter how yes. talented you are, if the things are not right around you, then you cannot succeed. You know who has a perfect situation? No, you're right. Trey Lance. He's fair. He's possibly the best offensive coordinator or offensive mind in the league, and Kyle Shanahan is his head coach. The best run game designer in the league is his head coach. Quite possibly the best offensive line in the league, if not the best top three. Most important thing for a quarterback to play well is to feel safe and comfortable in the pocket. And not only play well in the season, but to have a long career where you're comfortable. We've seen quarterbacks get ruined because they start in bad places where they can't get protection. And they can never, ever get comfortable after that. He has a great offensive line. They also have a really, really good defense with guys like Bosa on the other side. And I haven't even gotten to the best thing that he has, a guy named George Kittle. Yeah. He's the best tight end in the league. He can throw it to him. And then we still got Brandon Ayuk and Debo Samuels, big play guys that you can just throw them a short ball and they might turn it into a 50, 60-yard gain. So I think that Trey Lance, you combine all of those great situations with his great arm and his great athleticism to run the ball, it's impossible for me to think of a scenario where Trey Lance does not have a great career going forward. All right, Mark, See, sometimes you get into a sometimes you get in a conversation and you hear points and you realize that the guy <laughs> you picked is dead wrong. All right, <laughs> but I'm gonna fight anyway. Come on, listen, good. I got right, Justin Fields. Got. <laughs> I got Justin Fields, and 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 a part of this is because I, I have to. In my mind, I can't imagine Matt Nagy not being a better coach after all he's been through with Mitchell Trubisky going through that season last year with Nick Foles and trying to figure out what was going to transpire. I, gotta, I, I have to believe that when you go up to draft Justin Fields and you trade up to get him, you have a plan for what his talents are. We all, we all understand right. where he is from an athletic standpoint, but I don't think we've given Justin Fields enough credit just for playing the quarterback position at a very high level. I believe the situation is good for him, too, if the head coach has learned from, from the era of his ways. You talk about defense, Dom, for San Francisco and Trey Lance. I agree. Look, look, man, we all said it. Whatever quarterback end up in San Francisco, that's going to be the great situation because of Shanahan. And you're really not asked to do anything crazy or out of worldly because the offense is so well put together. But when I look at Chicago, they had success running the football last year. And now you implement the athletic quarterback. And then, too, from the psyche of players. I love Allen Robinson. I think Allen Robinson is a, is a top-tier wide receiver yep. that doesn't get enough credit because of what's been going on in Chicago with the quarterback spot. I have to believe, I, I, I feel like 
I feel like Justin Fields is the most talented when you talk about just just talent wise. And I, I know you can make an argument for Trevor Lawrence. You can make an argument, obviously, for Trey Lance. I, that's what I personally believe for Justin Fields. Now I look at a situation where not only you have a franchise that has to win, that has to put themselves in a better situation than they've be, been in as far as head coach and GM, but I look at Justin Fields being doubted. And I look at Justin Fields in a situation where during this draft, people had questions about if he is one of these top-tier guys. I believe he's going to carry that chip on his shoulder and ball out and be better than both of the guys you mentioned. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.